you're in great shape. Yeah? Oh, definitely. All the girls in Peacocks, they're all voting for you. I cranked together a victory speech because your pal Steve here is gonna make sure it's a done deal. Maybe I should talk about some of the community programs I want to set up. Let's wait till you're in office to make that stuff happen. First, you have to win. Well, I guess this is the place. Hey, this isn't Fran the man. So, you ready? Yeah. Not that it matters. Well, hey, it ain't over till it's over. Spoken like a true novice. You know, I'm a veteran of these campaigns, and my prediction is you'll end up with about 80% of the vote. Well, that's optimistic. Listen, when you've lost as many times as I have, you begin to develop an instinct for these things. You're real popular. And I don't mean you're an airhead or anything. I, I just, <laughs> I have never seen anyone mount a slicker campaign. Thanks, but uh, no one's gonna vote for a president just because they like their video, or they shouldn't. You got a lot going for you, Mike. <laughs> what? Well, like it says right here. All the extracurricular activities you've done, you volunteer work, you're in the honor society. You're really qualified. You were even a student intern at the state capitol last summer. Uh, you know, I am real interested in public policy, especially since it affects the homeless. Yeah, me too. I was thinking of a program where we could give away the surplus food from the cafeteria. That's great. And so when you get elected, you can use the pilot program I set up last summer. Thanks, man. May the better candidate win. Same to you. Mr. Walsh, your proposals, please. Uh, <clears throat> my first order of business will be to get rock bands every Friday at lunch. Do you plan to implement this? Well, uh, contact the bands. Uh, it's a little more complicated than that. There are releases and, and permits and uh, insurance. When I was assistant activities committee chairman, I uh, brought bands in for the proms. Uh, are you aware of all the red tape involved? No, not really. But you are. And that's just one of about 50 reasons why you're more qualified to be president than I am. And you certainly run a more honorable campaign this is not in our script. And that's the reason why I'm throwing my support to you. Stuff the ballot box for you. That's the thought that counts, Steve. 